Alrighty, I got a few things to like kind of, you know, kind of cover my grounds before we get into today's video. So in the last video, first off, if you missed it, right here, it's coming across the screen. It was an international rebuild. We couldn't use any United States players, US of A players, American players, whatever you want to call it. We can only use foreign players. And I traded away Mike Soroka. I know he's Canadian. Um, it was like three trades after that trade that it like light bulb moment. Soroka's Canadian. I could have kept them. So unfortunately, at that point, I was like, it's too late. We're going to run with it. Second, a lot of you guys are asking which roster I'm using. So if you guys want to know which roster I'm using, I put it on screen in the last video. So you guys got to go back up there, click that icon, and go back to yesterday's video, the international free, uh, the international rebuild. And then today, we're going to be doing an American rebuild, US of A, only American players. So we'll see how that goes. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always, leave a comment for future rebuilds or future challenges you guys would like to see in the future. Let's get into it. Alrighty, since we're doing the American rebuild, I decided to go with the Angels because Mike Trout's American. And he's like really hard to trade for. So that was kind of like the one player I was trying to build this around. I know we need to get Bryce Harper as well. We'll find a way to make that happen. I think we're going to have to trade Shohei to make it work. So we'll have our two core, like two outfield spots. And then from there, we're just going to have to kind of build a squad around some Americans. So we'll take a look at this, this lineup because I know some players definitely got to go. Simmons is one of them. That sucks. Um, one of the better shortstops in the game. Um, and then outside of that, pool holes. But I'm pretty sure everybody else in this lineup is American so we really could just rock with a with an Angels lineup that was kind of another reason why I went with this team there was there's a lot of like US of A players there's a lot of American players on the squad already so there wouldn't be too many changes that we would need to do if we couldn't find good trades so Shohei is a player that will have to go Felix Pena is definitely one and so is Jaime Barria uh, Luis Garcia and then Hansel Robles I think that's it you know when we look at the squad there's definitely some players that will have to go. We've already talked about them, but, you know, Keenan Middleton's a good player to look forward to. We got Joe Adele, who we could use in the future. We have Michael Hermosillo as well. So there's there's definitely some good players. Jemai Jones is a, a highly touted prospect. So we've, we've got some players we can build around. Let's just go make some trades. Let's get this squad looking full American. Alrighty, so the first trade is for Bryce Harper. Like I mentioned, we're also getting Alec Baum and Adam Has Hasley. Hasley for Shohei, Angelton Simmons, and Cole Calhoun. So, huh, this is a big trade. Alrighty, we need to get rid of pool holes from the team. So we're bringing in Tyler Chatwood for a one-year contract compared to a three-year contract. Alrighty, so we need a new closer. Hansel Robles is not American. Um, neither is Kevin Maitan. Because he's from Venezuela. And he's got some good trade value. So we're going to go for Ken Giles for our new closing spot. Alrighty, Luis Garcia and Felix Pena. Both are like C potential mid-70s players for Brandon Kinsler, Brad Brock, and then Dakota Mex or Meeks. If you don't know about him, he's 6'7", 250. He is a big boy. I'm just getting him as kind of a trade piece. Um, but at least for this season, we'll have a couple decent bullpen arms with Kinsler and Brock. We're going to be acquiring Trevor Williams of the Pirates for Jose Suarez and Jaime Berea. Jaime Berea usually develops really well, so it sucks to see him be traded away. All right, I know we just acquired Adam Hasley, but we're also going to trade Cody Allen. He got DFA'd by the Angels, I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. And then we're going to trade Jeremiah Jackson for Tim Anderson. We don't have a shortstop, so this is kind of something that we actually need to trade for. So... I didn't really want to get rid of Adam Hazley, but that's the trade we have to do. All right, so season one, the team isn't amazing. I know that, but we've cleared house on the farm system for the most part, except for the pieces that I want to keep. And this is what we're working with. Listella, Trout, Harper, Justin Upton, Tim Anderson, Brian Goodwin, Justin Board, David Fletcher, and Jonathan Lucroy. On the bat, on the bench, we have Dominguez, Shimp, BJ Upton, and Kevin Smith. So... I signed these three just as bench bats, just because we kind of needed them. And when we look at the team, a lot of these contracts are expiring at the end of the year. And a player I'm looking that we may have to trade to open up a little bit of cap space is Justin Upton because his contract is very bad. And we already have these two massive contracts. 
so as you guys can see we got these two just enough that may need to get out so that's kind of why i'm kind of regretting trading adam hazley but we'll see how things pan out we got trevor williams heaney canning cahill and whitley who we signed in free agency and then we got bedrosian justin anderson ty buttry kyle crockett was in free agency as well we needed a lefty um so i decided to bring him in brock kinsler and ken giles so pitching wise i think we're okay but I don't expect us to be a, po a postseason team this year. So again, we can pick up players through free agency. As you guys can see, I've already done that a couple times. And we can draft. They just can't be foreign draft picks. So I'll see you guys at the draft. All right, let me tell you. We didn't have too, too much of luck with the foreign drafts. But this draft right here, the American draft for season one is looking nice. We got Stuart Amon. From Illinois, a potential 64 overall. He's a first baseman. Looks really good. We got Robbie Brandano, 70 overall starting pitcher already. Looks solid. We got Herbert Friend, who's got 84 potential. He's 64 overall. Good speed. And we got Ed McHugh, 71 overall, 87 potential. Ooh, I like this one. I did miss out on two players. Um, I'll quickly show you guys who they were. Um, it was Thomas Williams. It was either him or the first baseman. I went with the first baseman because I figured we have Matt Dice and we have Justin Bohr. Might as well try to get another like decent first baseman. And he's got some good hitting stats. And then the other one was uh, Jason Papp, who he looks good. But I think our pitchers are just a little bit better. The potential is not there for our pitchers, but 70 and 71 overall. I'll definitely take that. All right. I just realized Herbert Friend is Dominican. So that's a problem. So we, we can't use him. We can't use Herbert Friend. Um, so you remember how I said we weren't going to be a playoff team? Well, I was wrong. I was, whoa, I was wrong. 106 and 56. Whoa. Taking on the winner of the wild card, which means we're going to lose. But we won 106 games. Let's take a look at league leaders. Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, probably the two that carried the team the most. But, um... Let's take a look at the awards. We got Silver Slugger, we got MVP, and we got a Hank Aaron Award. So Mike Trout's numbers already look really gross. I'm going to make you wait on those. So Trevor Williams, second half of the season struggled. But the first half, he had like a 3.3, 3.5 ERA. So he was he was solid. And then something after the trade deadline must have fell apart. Andrew Heaney, not a bad, not a bad year. Definitely not terrible. Griffin Canning, not terrible. Um, Trevor Cahill for a season. I'm not going to complain about that either. And Chase Whitley for a year. I'm not going to complain about that either. That's that's solid. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with the starting pitching. Cambridge Rosian, very, very good in this long relief role. Justin Anderson struggled a little bit. Um, that whips really high. Ty Butchery, really good. Or Butchery, whatever it is. Kinsler struggled. Um, I already knew that. I just didn't want to make any trades just yet. Brad Brock was okay. Not amazing. Kyle Crockett, not that great either i mean you know the bullpen is a little iffy uh ken giles was was pretty solid as well let's see how many blown saves he had only four okay that's not bad um i know we do have a couple players like keenan middleton that i definitely want to see if he, we can get him involved at some point so looking at our lineup on our bench kevin smith did well outside of that not that great. David Fletcher is up to an 84. He, for some reason, is just a really good player for a sim style franchise. He hit 286. That's awesome. Mike Trout, 50 home runs, 45 doubles, 134 RBIs, 106 walks, 342 average, 451 on base percentage, a 702 slugging, and an 1153 OPS. Holy cow. Bryce Harper around that 260 average. Um, 49 home runs, 136 RBIs. Okay, not terrible. Not terrible at all. Very solid season. Justin Upton, besides the home runs, I mean, pretty comparable to what Harper did. The, the slugging and the OPS really aren't, but um, definitely a player I'd be open to trading. Um, Tim Anderson, very good year. 32 homers, almost a 300 average, 44 doubles. Ooh, I like to see that. Justin Bohr, not bad. Not bad at all. That is that is that is good. I'll take that from Justin Bohr. Tommy Lastella was was pretty good as well. 22 homers, 250 average is okay. 
um brian goodwin very good for some reason goodwin is always like a really good cheap like center field platoon player he just hits for good average and uh he's he's not a bad player uh jonathan lucroy which is jonathan lucroy you know you can't complain about it and then overall this team was unreal beyond my expectations i know we have trout i know we have harper you know tim anderson too like we have a couple good players but this is not a team that should be winning 106 games by any means but let's hop into it let's keep going and we're taking on our divisional opponents the astros and we're facing elimination and we get eliminated season one. Oh man that is disappointing and it's going to be the yankees versus the cardinals in the world series and the cardinals whoa the cardinals win the world series okay so we need a we need a okay we, we need a couple coaches but let's let's see anybody retire from our squad no pool host part of the cubs <laughs> it's kind of like sacrilegious right because he was part of the cardinals for so long but let's take a look let's see brad brock you know what for like a season i'd be cool just bringing him back um trevor cahill wasn't terrible but um i'm i'm gonna let everybody else walk see if we can find any other like pieces that we could work with so let's keep that going and then let's take a look let's take a look 40 man okay we're good there arbitration yeah uh justin Bohr wasn't bad and you know his contract's not not bad at all so i'm gonna i'm gonna throw him arbitration and then we'll sign everybody else up just so that we don't have to worry about filling a, a roster with the minors or anything because that's just a pain to always have to consistently fill up the squad with minors like minor league players so yeah i think everybody else is gonna get a contract not shimp shimp just we'll, we can probably find a better uh option at second base but for the most part everybody's gonna get a contract all right so i know we drafted herbert friend herbert friend doesn't really sound dominican but he was dominican so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade him to the marlins for garrett cooper for some reason garrett cooper's a really good player now um i don't think his stats say he, he's really an 82 but we need a new left fielder i want a smaller contract we bring uh we're gonna trade justin upton as well so that's how we're gonna start season two um and i'll show you guys the lineup in a second Alrighty, another trade to start season two taylor cole luke bard and brennan lund um both are kind of relievers that they're they're okay they're not amazing uh we're gonna get tanner scott of the orioles he's a lefty once again we didn't have a lefty in the bullpen so with that being said i think we're set now um when you look at the team, you guys can see a new addition to the starting rotation, Wade Miley. He was one of the better pitchers available. I know there are so many better pitchers we can go out and get. It's just finding a trade that'll work with our team. And that's that's the difficult part is that we don't really have any trades that we can do right now that would work out without like getting rid of Joe Adele, Jemai Jones, things like that. Um, I'm going to give Jemai Jones one more season. I think he's like a high 60... Let me take a look. Yeah, high 60. So if by the time, if he's not like close to 70 by like the end of this season, we'll trade him because he'll definitely have some value. Same with Alec Baum. And then that way for season three, we definitely could have a really solid lineup. We'll trade those prospects for some really good players. But um, overall, it doesn't look too bad. The bullpen's basically the same. Um, Noe Ramirez is being brought up as well. Uh, we brought in Carter Caps. So we'll see how uh, Ramirez does. If Ramirez does poorly, we'll bring up Caps or uh, I don't. We'll bring up Adam. We'll bring. I don't. How do you? What is that name? We'll we'll bring up Adam if we need to. Uh, but we have Brock Middleton, Scott Buttry, Justin Anderson, and then Ken Giles as well. And then uh, I'm just still baffled by that name. And when we look at the squad, you guys can see the big addition here. Anthony Rendon for a big, just a, it's a big boy contract. It definitely is. But overall, the team's basically the same. I think that's the only change. And then you guys can see the rest of the squad here. So overall, I'm pretty excited about it. I think we're still a very solid team. I think we only got better. So let's see how season two plays out. At the deadline of season two, we're going to be trading for Brad. Uh, we're going to be trading for Dylan Floro. But we're trading Brad Brock, Levon Soto, and Roberto Pena uh brad brock's just sucking it up and dylan floro is actually having a good year so we need we need that bullpen help all right i'm looking for someone to kind of hold down that long relief role because cambridge erosion 
it's not him. So we're going to trade Carter Caps, who we signed in the offseason. He has like a 7 ERA. We're going to trade Michael Hermosillo, who I didn't really want to trade because, you know, he could potentially help us out. But we do have Brandon Marsh, who's developing very, very quickly. And we're going to trade Luis Renifo for Adrian Hauser with the Brewers. So after those trades, this is how we're looking for season two post the trade deadline. It's really just Hauser and Floro. Um, I'm actually going to do that. I feel like that's a that's a pretty solid looking bullpen. Starting rotation still looking the same. It's the pitching was really the big issue for the team right now. So let's see if we can uh, secure us a playoff spot. So again, pretty solid season. I'll show you guys in a sec. We weren't as good, but we we're pretty close. 100 with 62 losses. We're taking on. Wait, we made it as a post the postseason as a wild card team with 100 wins. Are you serious? The Astros beat us by a game one game tim anderson had the most doubles harper the most rbis the most home runs for trout trout had the best average most hits for tim anderson and we had some runs a whip with like every everyone's holding league leading spots awards wise silver slugger mvp hank aaron so trout did the triple once again not the triple crown but you know three three awards so let's take a look at our bench. Things kind of struggled a little bit. Kevin Smith has been a pretty reliable bench bat for us. That's good to see. Tim Anderson, again, just really good numbers. Solid numbers. Good average, good amount of home runs, good amount of RBIs, doubles, very good amount of hits. Um, Anthony Rendon, whoo, I like to see that. Even better year than last year. I'm not too sure why he's uh, not considered like a star or anything. I mean, I know we got Harper and Trout, but... I mean, look at, look at these numbers by Trout. It is just gross. It's just gross. How is he getting better? It's just crazy. Let's take a look at Harper. Very similar to last year. The home runs and RBIs went up, though. So that's good to see. More doubles as well. Okay. Gary Cooper cooled off a little bit from his previous season, but still home runs and RBIs are there. I'm not going to complain about that. A decent little left fielder for us. David Fletcher kind of cooled off average-wise and on-base percentage, but... A little bit like two more home runs so um, Brian Goodwin once again very solid play. look at that 32 37 doubles 33 homers like you can't complain about that from your DH like he is killing it Justin Bohr struggled a little bit like average wise and then Jonathan Luke Roy, not too bad so let's take a look at Jemai Jones I think he's going to be a player we trade. He's going to have a lot of good value. Alec Baum is definitely going to be stepping up next year. Um, he'll probably take Dominguez's spot, which saves us a couple million. Um, and then Matt Tice might be our new starting, or Thice might be our new starting first baseman. And I know we also got Stuart Ammon, who could potentially, you know, be a, a player for us next, like as a bench bat too. So we we could we could probably save some money and use it somewhere else. Um, let's go take a look at the pitching rotation. Griffin Canning. Griffin Canning, holy cow. Just unreal stats. Trevor Williams, not terrible. Definitely not terrible. Andrew Heaney did very well. Chase Whitley did very well. Okay. As a free agent pickup season one, he's been a really good acquisition. And Wade Miley was eh. eh. Adrian Hauser is looking like a really good long reliever for us. Let's hope he doesn't ruin that next year. <laughs> Middleton did well. Justin Anderson struggled a little bit. So did Bedrosian. So these two are kind of like... Maybe we need to trade them. Tanner Scott as well struggled. And then our three right here just lights out. Just unreal. Unreal stuff. So we're taking on the Rays in a just a, a one-game playoff. So let's see how things go. We can't get knocked out again. Cannot. And we're going to see. So they have Simmons. Um, he got traded to the Rays. Adamas, Pham, Meadows, Choi, Lau. Diaz, you need. So everything else is the same, just Simmons. All right, so we... Come on, get out of it. There we go. He gets out of it. We're taking on Blake Snell, obviously. We're going to go against their ace. One out. He gets out of that, that jam once again. Corner spots for Harper, and he strikes out. Ooh, that's, that's not what you want to see. Brian Goodwin, though. Come on. We get the run in. David Fletcher does what he needs to. We get five out of Canning, maybe even one more. Rendon goes deep, and we got a three-run lead. We could probably get one more out of Canning. Come on, give me that last out. No! All right. Bedrosian gets us out of it. We have a tie ball game. We got greedy with the pitcher. That's basically what happened. Um, 
Justin Bour, I need a sack fly out of you. Come on. We needed the sack fly, man. That's all we needed. That was all we needed. Woo! Woo! Got out of that one. First and second. Brian Goodwin. Base is loaded. Three run double for Garrett Cooper. Coming in the clutch. Kevin Smith gets one more across and we have a four run lead. We're going to go to Floro here. And he's going to do, do what he needs to. One, two, three inning. All right. Could we get a little insurance? We don't. We're going to let Floro go one more. And there we go. We're taking on the Yankees in the ALDS. So this is going to be a, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. Let's uh let's move Canning down just a couple spots, get him rested and everything. So let's hop into this Yankees matchup. And we're facing elimination. So nothing new. We're always facing elimination. And then we're going to let Trevor Williams take the mound. All right, looking at the lineup for the Yankees. Um Wilson Contreras is new. Okay. Um, and then Tulo at short. Interesting. Okay. Great way to start it off. We're letting DJ LeMahieu take us deep to start off the game. And they make it. It's a two-run game. We're taking on Domingo Herman. So we, we need we need to get this run back. We need to get it soon. Glaber goes deep. It's 5-0. Trevor Williams just not his day today. Base is loaded for Tim Anderson. He brings in one. Come on. Bryce Harper, I need you here. Grounds out. All right, so unfortunately, it's looking like we're only going to get four out of Williams. So we're going to go to Hauser. Gets us at least one one inning. I right, probably another run scores. Wilson Contreras strikes with the RBI at double. So six to one. Our bats have gone cold. We only have two hits. Like, that's just... That's not good enough, you know? Hauser's done. We're going to go to... It's it's over. Six run deficit. Okay, maybe, maybe, a little, maybe a little life at the end. We got three outs to score. Four runs at least. And that, that's the season, unfortunately. The Trevor Williams just dropped the ball that game. What was it? Six six earned runs or something like that. The Dodgers defeat the Yankees. We'll hop into the postseason. Let's see what we can do here. Ah, that that one's uh that one's a little painful. So Ken Giles, we definitely want to bring back. He's been just amazing for us. He's been really strong for us. Wade Miley, man. Justin Bourne, man. Jonathan Lucroy, man. So we're gonna keep going. Let's take a look at the forty man. Anybody here? No arbitration trevor williams i mean we can't just let him walk um but yeah i think everybody here has been really good for us we have bomb so i'm gonna let bomb join us and we're gonna let dominguez walk and then i think everybody else will come back contracts wise yeah we'll definitely give we probably won't give Noe ramirez one but everybody else is gonna get a contract all right we're getting a new starting pitcher chris paddock 88 overall for Jemai Jones, Joe Adele, and Ed McHugh. I know it's a big, it's a big trade, you know. Ed McHugh, 75 overall, 19 years old. We got Joe Adele, um, Jemai Jones. It's it's a big trade, but I want to strengthen this pitching up. Alrighty, Chase Whitley, Lucas Herbert, and Henry Webster for Shed Long. We need kind of a backup infielder, so that's my thinking behind it. Alright, so this is how we're looking for the final season of this USA rebuild. We got Anderson, Rendon, Trout, Harper, CJ, Crone. It was a good little pickup for us. Um, stats look nice. Um, didn't play a lot last year. Not too sure about that, but I mean, his stats look good. I think we should. that's a good little pickup for us. Um, and then outside of that, everything else is the same. We do have Josh Fagley as another catcher for us. Um, Baum has been brought up. And then we obviously just traded for Shed Long. So the team looks good. Offensively, I think we're set. Pitching-wise, we brought in Marcus Stroman um, on a pretty long-term deal. Obviously, Griffin Canning has been very good for us. Trevor Williams has been, you know, cons you know pretty solid. Um, Andrew Heaney. And then obviously, we just brought in Chris Paddock as well. So we should have a very strong you know, relieving core as well, as well as our starting rotation. We brought in Shane Green because Ken Giles left. He went to the Rays on a nine-year deal. So, yeah, we lost we lost uh, Shane Green. So, we'll see how it goes. These two guys are a little worrying, but uh, I, feel, I feel comfortable with what we got. I think this is a strong squad. We definitely are making the playoffs. 
We just got to make it to the World Series, maybe win that. So let's see how season three plays out. All right, so again, not as good as the previous year, but this time we're not a wild card team. We actually won the division, which it kind of sucks. We were a wild card team by one game last year because this year we won 97 games and had 65 losses. We're taking on the Indians in the division series. League leaders, Trout ran away with everything, it looks like. It looks like he uh, he's just he's just too good. It's just, you can't take it away from him. Triple crown, silver slugger, MVP for the third year in a row, Hank Aaron, and then not a gold glove, but three straight MVPs for Trout. So we're going to look at our pitching. Griffin Canning is looking like a solid pickup. Chris Paddock was good. Marcus Stroman was good. Andrew Heaney struggled a little bit, um, but not, not terribly. And then Trevor Williams is looking like a consistent four ERA. Andrew, Adrian Hauser, pretty solid. Justin Anderson struggled. Bedrosian a little high. Keenan Middleton looks solid. Tanner Scott, eh. Ty struggled. So it's looking like our bullpen's a little suspect. A little suspect indeed. That's a that's worrying. That's really worrying. We'll take a look at our bench. Yikes. Our bench uh, really struggled. But when we look at the lineup, again, another 300 year for Tim Anderson, which is awesome to see. Rendon, 326. Oh, man. Whew. Mike Trout, th <laughs> hold on. 384 for Mike Trout. 66 home runs and 171 RBIs. Time out. What? Uh, 35 home runs for Bryce Harper. CJ Crone. Whew. Pretty solid season. You know, good amount of RBIs. Same with Gary Cooper. Very solid. Almost 40 home runs. Brian Goodwin. It's just continuously doing the same thing. Pretty consistent numbers. Shed Long took over at second. Josh Fagley, not too bad. So, offense is 100% there. It's just the pitching. I need the pitching to do well. If we want to advance anywhere in this postseason. So taking on the Indians. Yep. That's what we do. We lose right away. That's what happens. So progressive field. It all comes down to this. Marcus Stroman's on the mound. Taking on Mike Clevenger. Double play to end it. Awesome. So Trey Mancini is a new name. Tony Walters. But otherwise the team looks pretty standard. Mercado still third. All right, we're down two. We're down two. We're down one. Shedlong couldn't bring in the run, but that's okay. Yo, Marcus Stroman, I need you to stop walking people, dude. What is this? Oh, my God. 7-1. Marcus Stroman blew it for us. 100%. I mean, we're down five. We got the long reliever in. First and second, no outs. I need, I need some clutchness right here. One run is in. Bases loaded for Rendon. Oh, man. Unlucky, unlucky. All right, first and second. Gary Cooper brings in one. Come on. All right, so we're down three. So we're, we're slowly working our way back into it, right? This is good. Fegley gets on. First and third. Trout, I want to swing so bad, but I got to take the run. We got to take the run. We're down two now. CJ Crone brings us within one. I like this. I like this a lot. Lefty, lefty. Um, uh, do we take out Goodwin? He doesn't have a hit. His average is zero this postseason. Let's bring in Smith. Smith gets on. It worked out. Tie ball game. The moves. The moves. A thousand IQ, and we're up one. Look at that game is changing quickly adrian hauser has been amazing this game holy cow bases loaded for fagley come on Ooh, just couldn't do it all right so we're in the eighth we go to floro come on floro i need you here no the bullpen the bullpen the bullpen oh. there's tim anderson bringing us in with within two The bullpen. Oh. <sighs> one sixty-seven. How can you? How can you do this for me? And then hit one sixty-seven. Oh. 
That one hurts. Brian Goodwin let me down too. You. You. Let me down. Let me down. Adrian Hauser though. Adrian Hauser's a beast. He killed it. The bullpen let me down. And I thought we I thought we assembled a really good bullpen just I guess not good enough. So guys, you guys saw the team. I thought it was pretty good. We'll, we'll take a look. We'll take a look again before we, you know, we move forward. Overall, I think the team's pretty solid. Anderson, Rendon, Trout, Har Harper, Crone, Cooper, Goodwin, Shed Long, Fangley. I know there's a lot better players we probably could have gotten. Um, you know, like Trevor Story at short. Um, maybe even played Trevor Story at second. You know, you have Paul DeYoung who could have played second. When we think of outfielders, uh, you know, maybe like a Hunter Renfro could have played outfield for us in like left field. Um, Joey Gallo is a name. Austin Riley. You know, there's definitely some other names out there we could have gotten that I think could have helped us. Pitching wise, um, I feel like we put a really good starting rotation together. Um, obviously, the bullpen probably could have been a little bit stronger, but, you know, we worked with what we got, unfortunately just just couldn't do anything with it so that's how it's gonna end guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content we're, we're approaching 15,000 subs it would be awesome to see that happen by the end of the month and let me know what you would like to see for future rebuild challenges leave a comment down below so i'll catch you all in the next video peace